Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and today, today I want to show you how I'm getting 97 mega hash out of my Asus Strix ROG 3080 video card while mining Ethereum. Here I have uh, MSI Afterburner up on the screen, up in the top right, and then you can see my mining window, uh, bottom right corner. I was going to try and do a screen share so you can do it that way, but as soon as I did a screen share with OBS, it took away power from the GPU and would affect my my hash uh, my hash rates. So instead, I'll do it this way. Hopefully, uh, we can zoom in and, and see everything okay. So first of all, let's go start this video card back at default settings. So at default settings, this card is 1900 megahertz uh, core and it's 9200 megahertz ram around there and so just by default it's pulling 347 watts now as you know with mining you want to go as low as you can on either the core uh, or the power level to reduce uh, extra power because it, it gets hot and it costs money so the lower you can go the better and what we want to do essentially is overclock the ram because that's what makes important so so I turn it off and it, it's floating in and around 86 mega hash if I were to just, that's it, just just leave it, plug the card in for the, for the first time. So ideally what you always wanna do is, um, I take my fan up to a tolerable rate. Uh, myself, I, I like it to sit on 80, just, just so I know that I'm not gonna cook the card, right? So I'm bringing the fan to speed up to 80, 80%, and then start with memory, overclock your memory. I've seen a few videos where People range from 1,000 megahertz overclock on the 3080 to 1,500 megahertz. As soon as I went to around, what do you see here? So let's go to to, to 1,000, see what happens. 1,000, awesome, hit go. So what'll happen, uh, we haven't changed the power level at all, so uh, the amount of power draw is, is still the same at, we'll see here, it should tell us in a second. Okay, so we are up to, okay, so, Mega hash, we're at 95.6, 96 now, um, and 367 watts of power. So, okay, cool, whatever, that, that's pretty good. So now let's see if we can get a little more juice out of out of the RAM. Uh, let's do 1100, just do 100, 100 megahertz increases. There go, so we're at 96, let's see what happens here. It does take a few seconds for it to, to kind of go through. Uh, one, one pro tip, uh, I have Task Manager open here because if you have any other processes in your computer that are running GPU, example, your web browser, it'll it'll take the GPU from even if it's just a tiny little bit. So I keep everything closed when I'm not when I'm not using it, so the GPU has has full power. I increased it to 1100 and it's at 95.8. Uh, so a thousand seems to be better than 1100, but let's 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 keep cranking it and see what happens. Let's go 1200. Here, 95.7, 95.8. So still haven't really increased at all. 96, okay, a little better, 96, but that's what it was when we were just uh, straight at a thousand, thousand uh, megahertz increase. So, okay, so say it's, it's at 96. Okay, so let's go to 1300. My experience with this is that you'll hit a certain memory threshold where you overclock it so much that it goes backwards. And bingo, look at this, it's down to 92 megahertz. So oh, 88 megahertz. So this tells me, whoa, my card is screaming, something is wrong, let's back off a bit. So let's go to 1250 and see what that happens. Down to 78, it just went down to. So yeah, this is this is bad, you do not want that. Uh, okay, so starting to come back up, 80, 85, okay, it's going the right direction. 90, 90, okay, so it's stuck at 90. So still 1000 megahertz at 96 is the best. So let's put it back at 1000. Now every video card is different. They have different RAM, different, different structure in it. And even within the same line, if you get another Asus ROG, uh, 3080, it, it could perform differently. So let's go back here to a uh, thousand megahertz and we'll see. Okay, so we're back up to 96.2, which is the best we've seen so far. So let's, we know that 1100 is, is worse. So let's go up to 1050, see what happens. And this is, this is what you have to do. You just have to kind of play with your card back and forth, uh, checking the temps. Like I said, it's sitting at 62 degrees Celsius with 80% with fan. 
which we still haven't even bothered to start to decrease the power level yet. And we'll, we'll, we'll do that next. So 96.1, 96.1, so 1000 and 1050 seem to be around the same. So let's just, let's leave it there. Oh, 96.3. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at 1050. Now we start to decrease the power limit. Now the idea here is that if you decrease the power limit, but the card is requesting too much draw, it'll freeze and crash. Not at the end of the world, you reboot your machine, everything should go back to defaults, and, and, and you start over again. I remember I used to run the 1080 at 75% power limit. So let's let's put it at 75%. Go. Okay. 95.9. To me, that changed by 0.2. That's pretty good, considering that my card has now went from 340 watts down to 277 watts. So we're saving we're saving a lot of power. And you can see you can see here the power, the heat of the car went from 62 and it's dropping down to 55. So less power, increase less heat, which is great. Okay, we're back up to 96.2, which is exactly where we were. So in my opinion, let's let's keep going lower. Let's go 65. So the card is gonna go from 277 watts, 96, and we're running at 240 watts. Now that's pretty reasonable. From what I've seen online, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good power limit. So let's try going a little bit lower and see what happens. Let's go to 60. I'm seeing here 96.4, 96.2, 92. So right away we see a huge four mega hash uh, drop into 88. Okay, so something's wrong here, something wrong. So let's bring it back up. You need increments of five. You can you can try working through it one by one. It, let us say every card is different. Now the highest I had this card uh, testing before the video was 97.7. Okay, 96. 0.989, okay, 97, there it is, 97 right there, 97. I haven't seen a 97.7 in a bit. It will fluctuate a little bit day to day as you're doing things. Um, I think how it, it will pop up to 97.7. If I close on Windows, lock the computer and, and check it, it'll, it'll run around there. Those are the magic settings for, for this particular card, an Asus ROG Strix 3080. It is early February, so it could be different between if, if the card came from before Christmas, uh, but that's what's happening right now. So we're running at 65% power limit. Did not click the, the change the core. Spoiler alert, it doesn't do anything. But memory clock speeds of 1050 megahertz, span, fan speed of 80 will give us a nice, lovely, effective 97 hash rate when mining Ethereum. So that's it, give it a shot. Uh, I'd love to hear if you have the same car or a different car. I know some people are able to hit 100 meg hash, and I, I was hoping that uh, that I could. Doesn't look like the card and this this card can do it. All good. Three mega hash, in my opinion, is not a big deal. And this card is still mining at this current time between ten and fifteen dollars a day. So, awesome. Thanks. Cool. Leave a comment, and uh, I'd like to know what your hash rates are. Okay. Thanks. Bye.